Okay, so we're playing a game called 8-Bit Killer today, uh, which is also mouthofgamejolt.com. Are you sensing a pattern here? I seem to have a lot of free time. Uh, oh, let's read this. Four years ago, a space creature known as Master Brain arrived with the promise of a new dawn. It's pretty nice of him, I guess. Or is that a bad thing? Now, a huge army following the plan of the creature has launched an attack against the few cities that are still holding on. Um, I don't know what kind of game this is. It looks kind of like a platformy game, I guess. Oh yeah, there's me. A small group of soldiers has formed an alliance to defend those cities and kill Master Brain. Dude's on the phone. This is the story of their final mission. I'm gonna stop this voice in just a minute, I swear. 8-Bit Killer. All right, I don't know what the controls are, so bear with me a minute here. Um, ah, uh, space bar. All right, cool. Delta Squad, what is the situation? He really doesn't sound like he sounds like that. He actually sounds more like a, like a Gordon Freeman kind of type. You know, silent. How do you progress to text? Text? Whoa, that's cool. Rawr. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I guess there is no more story. I accidentally skipped it. Oh my god, it's so cool. <laughs> like, it's a Doom style game. Like, <laughs> even the controls are the same. All right, I. <laughs> this is right up my alley. Music's pretty sweet. Um, I guess these are the army. They uh, seem to have had budget cuts since the opening cutscene. Wow. I'm sorry. I won't insult your comments anymore. Okay. I seem to have infinite pistol ammo, which is nice, but it doesn't really work that well. Can I? Uh, how do I switch guns? Oh, it's like Journey to Silius. All right. Button is select then. Dang it. Okay then. Oh, are you serious? You have to use the mouse? You didn't have to use the mouse in Doom. That's lame. That's weak. Alright, well, whatever. This game is awesome. I'm not. Yeah, suck it. You would taste. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Is there anything in these vans I can... No, that's not a button. Alright. Um... <laughs> yeah. I really don't have anything clever to say. This is just a really pretty fun game. I mean, I can't. It's a little bit clunky, but, like, it's not the game's fault. It's just the fact that it's uh, fighting against, you know, 20 years of playing Doom. So, I mean, when, when for some reason, Alt has opened the door, I just kind of lose my chill. Keep pressing space bar every time. Oh, the machine. Oh, crap. I died. Yeah, I'll continue. Oh, yeah, I'll continue. <laughs> that was odd. That's adorable. All right, let's try this again. Do 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 do. Yeah. All right. Move that. Um. So these those guys are kind of typed by color here. Well, that's kind of a weird thing. Um. Like, I didn't think about it until now, but it turns out the uh, the strafe keys are mapped to Z and X, which is something I've done in Doom for years and years, and, like, no other game, nobody ever does that other than me, that I, well, maybe other people do, but I, that's something I do that doesn't happen in Doom by default, and this game just has it, and I just completely missed it, because I'm so used to that. 
that uh, strafing with ZNX is all good. It's pretty sweet. That seems to like kind of stick and move here works better than trying to brute force them. Master Brain, I'll take you to town. I will take you to the 8 bit funeral home where I will get you fitted for an 8 bit coffin. That was really lame trash talk, and I apologize. <sighs> Getting, taking a pounding here. Just gotta kind of back up and dodge. Focus on defense, not offense, because these guys aren't any struggle. I don't know if those guys do anything. I haven't been hit by them yet. Oh! Nice. Could use that health. Alright, game. Yeah! Uh, sweet! Yeah, I am improving. Never gonna get used to not pressing spacebar to open the door. Never. Really, never. Like, honestly, it's not gonna happen. Just hardwired into me that space opens doors. I like these posters on the wall. Hold on, I'll check it out. I just want to make sure it's safe. Oh, what? It's like the. Poster has to wait. That's right. Oh man. Uh, I got one more life, but I don't think I'm gonna continue. Um. So yeah, I've played some Eight Bit Killer. Uh. Feel confident. Feel ready. Feel assured that I can review it. Um. I think I'm gonna have to give it uh, the prestigious five out of five. Um. The game has a gripping plot with memorable characters and an ethnically diverse cast. Um, the the color palette was amazing. Everything everything about it was just absolutely astounding. I I mean it was it was a fantastic fantastic little game. The art, the atmosphere, the sound design, um, the star-studded cast, uh, all of it just goes toward. Just this incredible package that they just don't make games like this anymore. Um, I would absolutely recommend that you uh, pick it up off of GameJolt.com or, uh, you know, seeing as the next-gen consoles are just around the corner, um, why don't you just wait for the Xbox One port coming in 2014, I think? In any case, that'll be uh, $49.99. Um, yeah, I say it's definitely worth it.